All right. Third time's the charm, they say. Uh, yeah. Tried recording a video today once. No sound. Tried it again after being quite depressed. Uh, no sound. So here we are. Third time. It's a night video. Exciting! Uh, before I was drunk, I was doing kettlebell exercises. I was, uh, you know, I, not complaining, but talking about somebody who did a, uh, who sent me an Instagram message or something, because I guess they were perturbed about the content of yesterday's video. You know, look, I'm not trying to make enemies. I'm not trying to be anything other than just me. And, uh, you know, maybe, and I just talked with my friend Ant, maybe the fact that I tried to do a video today twice and the sound did not work both times, maybe that's indicative of I was being perhaps too negative or a little harsh. And, you know, that's not good. That's not what I want. We already have enough negativity right now going on in the world. It's time to ascend. So I'm actually grateful that those other two videos did not get produced um, in the way that I was hoping. And, you know, maybe they were a little comical. I thought they were humorous, but apparently God did. And he was like, F these videos. So maybe one day soon I will just have a compilation of all my fails where there's no uh, audio. And I'll just kind of string those together. So, but I did talk to one of my friends today, Lowell as well. And, you know, he said I was... Uh, he wants me to keep going on this this affair here. And again, this is day something or another, X plus one, so 11 or something like that, out of the first 21 days just to establish a, a habitual routine um, where then maybe, you know, some good content can be made and not just this uh, subpar uh, rubbish. So that was nice to hear. Sometimes you just need to hear that to keep going. So um, yeah, it's just kind of a bummer again, but it's all right, we're gonna go forward. I was probably being a little too negative. Let's not have negativity. Let's just embrace positivity and optimism. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the third video. We're going to keep it sweet. Like I said, a compilation of failed, no sound videos possibly to come. And uh, oh yeah, just one more point I kind of wanted to mention. Pete, sound, Pete Townsend of The Who did mention that one time he saw uh, Jimi Hendrix perform. And uh, he said it was the most magical spiritual experience of his life. And Afterward, he searched for a recording of it, couldn't find it. So his hypothesis is that mainly, or maybe, um, the greatest things just can't be recorded. You kind of have to be there in the moment. Um, or, you know, you just learn from it and are grateful that it wasn't put down on wax or paper or whatever. So, um, you know, take that as you will. Not saying that I'm comparing myself to Jimi Hendrix, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll set this phone on fire later. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, so stay tuned. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. I can feel it filled with lots of uh, positivity and sound as this one was uh, or is. And the last two were supposed to, but they're not. So, but that's okay. That's okay. And, um, you know, I'll just hit on this one last thing here. Projection. No, not the kind that, uh, you know, feeds movies onto our eyeballs um, from a silver screen, but projection meaning in the psychological term of, uh, I think the current zeitgeist right now that you see is it's really hot right now to project, project, project. I read one of the most fascinating books. It's uh, Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. And I suggest anyone read it. Um, it's really good. And it's basically just talking about the idea of you accuse your enemy um, of the thing you're doing. You say they're doing it. So I feel like a lot of us are projecting all the time. Uh, in fact, it's a very common occurrence. Um, so if I'm accusing you of something, I'm going to say... I'm doing it, or it, of, okay, so if I want to basically just kind of uh, throw you off my scent trail, I'm going to say I'm a thief, right? I'm going to say that you're the thief and make it loud and clear and uh, just tell everyone else that. So basically, p tell the big lie as loud as possible, and that's what projectioning is. And we do it consciously, we do it unconsciously, but it's pretty much like what's fueling the world right now. Um, you're seeing it everywhere in the news media, politics, even, shoot, even some of our own friends, some of what we see them posting. Maybe I'm doing it right now. I mean, probably to a certain extent. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, I'll go into this deeper at some other time because I know it's just kind of a tangent on a very long day where I already deleted two other videos. It's kind of disappointing, but that's all right. Uh, but just kind of uh, maybe look into that topic a little bit um, and definitely check out uh, Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals because um, projection, 
you start to see it all around you. People accusing you of the things that they are doing themselves. And whether it's conscious or unconscious, it happens and it happens all the time. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and it's a great way to kind of break free of the propaganda and, uh, you know, start seeing how people are persuading you into doing things, whether that be for good or bad. So but anyway, that was kind of a tangent. And today wasn't really a funny one. But hey, today wasn't really a funny day. But thanks again to all of you tuning in. And um, hey, we're going to make the best of it. We're going to figure out something great together. It's going to be awesome. And uh, 2021 is going to be amazing. I'm saying this like there's not going to be any more videos until then. I hope there is. uh, But you never know what happens. So I'm at a gas station now. I'm stopped at my favorite restaurant in the world, 7-Eleven. And I'm just so hungry. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.